Our next guest is Kim Kenny, who is a curator at the William McKinley Presidential Library and Museum. I know there's been a lot of renovation going on over there. It's pretty spectacular. I've only glimpsed it. I didn't get over <laughs> to see it yet. But you've also got a new exhibit. So do you want to tell us about what's going on? We have so much going on. If people have not been to the museum in six months, they won't even recognize it. That's, That's how true. fast it's <laughs> everything true. has changed. All summer long, we spent uh, a lot of time. We've been working for five years on a new permanent exhibit on Stark County history. Mm -hmm. And it opened this fall. And it is everything we dreamed it would be. Um, it's, it's wonderful. And it talks all about 200 years of Stark County uh, from the very beginning, even before that, uh, with the Native Americans that were here, right up through the present. So we're very excited about that. And that replaced uh, two old exhibits on the second floor, the Historical Hall and the Industrial Hall. So they're mm -hmm. brand new, and people will love come in and see it. I can't wait to get over there and see this. I figure on spending a lot of time. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a, a, it's very dense. There's a lot to read. We mm -hmm. tried to cover every community in Stark County. So there's Alliance, uh, Maslin, lots of the smaller towns are represented. And a lot of artifacts that have been in storage, some for decades, oh. that are now out on display. So there's uh, the biggest one, of course, is the Laughing Lady from Myers Lake. She is out. Oh, she's out. She's out. People always ask me where she is. And we've got her, and now she's on display. So she's been very popular. She has dresses for the season, so you can come in and <laughs> see her in different oh. dresses. And very close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, you've got a new exhibit. Up as well. Yes. Um, even though we've had all the changes on the second floor, mm -hmm. the Street of Shops is the same, the McKinley Gallery is the same, and the Keller Gallery is also still there um, mm -hmm. in the same place. Uh, looks a little different to get to it now, but um, we have a dollhouse exhibit going on right now. How fun. Through February 14th of 2010, we have 23 room boxes and dollhouses on exhibit, mm -hmm. and only four of them belong to the museum. The rest were loaned to us from local miniature enthusiasts who brought them in and set them up, and uh, you could spend a long time looking at them. There are a lot of details to see. That one that was at the top of the steps, is that moved in there yes, now? Yes, that'll be in there. That'll be resting um, after this exhibit. That'll go into storage mm -hmm. and um, that's sort of the centerpiece of this exhibit. And then we've got some really spectacular large dollhouses, but also some small tin dollhouses from the 40s and 50s with the plastic furniture that people will remember from their own childhoods. I remember ruining the little legs on the chairs. They're very fragile. <laughs> they were. Okay, so where did you got these from? Just just letting people know you were looking for dollhouses. Yeah, we did a doll exhibit last Christmas, and mm -hmm. that brought in people who um, had some dollhouses. So I had forms that they could fill out. And because it's been so popular, we will do it again in two to three years. So if anybody has a dollhouse, they should let me know, and I'll start a list for the next time we do it because it's a lot of fun. It, it, I bet it is. I bet it is. It's probably interesting to see how people decorate rooms, too. Yeah, we have one lady who's done 1780 <gasps> colonial style, which is very unique. You uh -huh. know, it's a little more sparse than a lot of people do Victorian. So mm -hmm. that one's a little different. And then we've got one family, a mother and three daughters, and they each have a house. And so oh. all four of those houses came. It took them four hours to set them all back up. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> dedicated people. Yes, absolutely. And this is up through February 14th. Yes, so Valentine's February. Day. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. this All be through fun. Christmas, so when people have guests in town, you want to take them to something fun. You can go look through the Stark County History Exhibit, but then you can also look at the dollhouses. So there's something for everyone. And that's something to be thinking about because people, yeah, Thanksgiving's coming up. People are going to have company in from out of town for mm -hmm. Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's come in and look because it's all new and if you go downstairs to Discover World mm -hmm. you can even see dinosaur bones yeah I mean you've got the history of Stark <laughs> County covered yeah. yep from one end to the other <laughs> that's right okay so what are what are the the museum is open every day of the week we're open every day uh, Monday through Saturday 9 to 4 and then Sunday noon to 4 mm -hmm. so it's it's open quite a bit yeah people I mean can we come in anytime and um, we're online McKinleyMuseum.org we have all of our events are always posted there so um, anytime that anybody has some free time um, we're open every day so you can come in anytime okay so if someone wants to call for more information what's the phone number there four five five seven zero four three okay and I wanted to ask you too is the monument still open now or is it closed for the, the winter? The monument is closed for the winter. It's been nice the past few days, so it has been open, but mm -hmm. it does close for the winter because a lot of people don't realize we can't take care of those steps. Um, we can't salt them because mm -hmm. they're um, 
the salt will ruin them. So we don't want anybody to get hurt. So that's why it's closed for the winter. But in April, it will open again. That's for you, because I was thinking that, that if you put salt on those after all the work that you've done yeah. with those girders underneath them, and it is true that they are sitting on girders, that they're not on the dirt, and that they're actually was a space underneath them mm -hmm. that's now filled with foam. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. people never believed me when I told them it was hollow under the steps. It and was. it really is. <laughs> and there really is a basement, too. Yes, yes, there is. Okay. And uh, you've got quite a few books down in the, the gift shop oh, absolutely. that you and your husband Chris have written mm -hmm. about. What are some of the things you've written about, real quickly? Uh, I've done a history of. Canton called uh, Canton a Journey Through Time. I did West Lawn Cemetery and also Canton's Pioneers in Flight. So there are a lot of uh, interesting things about this community. Okay, and Chris has got some really fascinating books about the, the, monument, the monument as well. Mm -hmm. There's some things you'd never think of. Okay, well, thanks so much for coming this Thank evening. Thank you. Hi, I'm Susie Vitale. I've been hosting the show What's Happening in Stark County for close to 20 years. What's Happening is brought to you by the Community Television Consortium of Stark County. If your nonprofit organization would like to appear on our show, or if you want to become involved with producing local television in the Stark County area, please check out our website at www.ctctv.org. You can get all the information you need to get involved with the CTC. Thanks for watching.